We gon' both shine, Gemini. Yeah, one queen, two sides, one me. Usa, yeah, whole time, you a whole vibe. We gon' both shine, my Gemini. What's up, y'all? It's naturally Mia, keeping it natural. So keep it natural and today i'm just coming to you all showing you all how to properly put your uh, measurements on your blockhead when you're making a wig this is a size 22 blockhead this is the standard size blockhead um they do come smaller which i do have one that's small but i um went ahead and got me this size because this is my size um canvas blockhead um but get, uh, but then again like i said this is a standard size and it is by gex um i'll link these below for you all so you all can purchase them if you know this what you want to do i like this certain kind um i don't like the ones with the long neck i like the ones with the short neck um they're just better for me but anyways nevertheless um You'll need tape, of course. You'll need your soft measuring tape, um, which is used to actually measure the wig when you're actually getting the measurements for your wig. So that's very important. Um, and also, I'll link these below. I also bought that. Um, I bought those off Amazon as well as this off Amazon. And I also have um, some shrink wrap paper, which we'll get into all of that. But for now, we're going to go ahead and um, get started. I am going to piece off a few pieces of tape because, of course, we're going to have to tape it down. Um, and then we're going to put the shrink wrap paper on it. That way, you know, nah, 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 it's going to last us, okay? And I'm not, like, a pro at doing this, y'all. Like, I literally... I know um, how to make wigs. I've always handmade wigs, but now I'm at the point of getting into making them on the sewing machine. And I can show y'all like those measurements and stuff too. I actually have on um, a wig that I literally just made and everybody's like, oh, make me one, make me one. But again i'm not um at the moment i just do it for myself um but of course i'll uh i'll post pictures so that you all can see i do also sell hair so the hair that you uh see in the video will actually be for my hair that i sell so for starters we're going to actually take this piece off because we're not going to need this piece of the measuring tape so just go ahead and open it and just take it off. It should come straight off like so. And then you want to make sure you use the inch side, not the uh, centimeter side. So you want to make sure you use the inch side. You should also know that where the lump is, this is the back of the head. And also where the number is, this is the back of the head. Okay, so we're going to actually turn it to the front. And, I, and you want to measure from bottom to top, nine inches. And this will be considered where um, the forehead or the hairline start. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So you want to make sure you start all the way at the bottom of it and then... I'm going to tilt it back like this. And then I'll um, show y'all because I can't do it in that angle to make sure it's accurate. So you want to do it like so. Kind of make sure everything is leveled up. So from bottom to nine inches, it's about so. So we're going to make a line. Okay, so I have that little line there, and then you can also do it this way, you know, if that's what you want to do. And again, as you can see, I'm going to turn it around because I want you all to see the actual marking. I started beside it, and then I went down, 
and as you can see it stops literally at the nine and then if I turn it around, I'm just gonna show y'all this way as well. Just because when I looked up these YouTube videos, y'all, and trying to get help, it seems like they don't turn the stuff around like, no ma'am, okay? And then from bottom, all the way to the bottom, to the top, as you can see, it's beside the nine. Okay. So we have that first uh, part done so that we can get started. So now you're going to take that line where you started and you're going to go from front to nape. Front to nape, it should be 13 and a half on a canvas blockhead. So as you can see, I'm gonna turn it around. I'm actually going to um, take a T-pin and pin that down there uh and try not to pull it because it will pull and that's not what we want so um again you're going to take it down and then on a 22 uh canvas blockhead from front to nape it should be 13 and a half but of course i'm going to cut at the 14 mark just because uh so it can have have an even number so we're going to cut at uh, 14, as I stated. We're gonna cut that off. I'm gonna sit this to the side. We're going to come back to that. And then I'm going to um, take it and I'm going to tape it, okay? We're gonna tape it directly in the middle. Um, you know, that's just, just my uh, preference to try to have everything like lined up so we're gonna line it where exactly where that mark was and we're gonna tape it okay gonna take it and then we're going to go back 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 and i'm actually going to uh put a piece of tape in the middle because once you do it like that you have like that open gap space and yeah i don't like it so we're gonna take it and we're gonna tape it okay Hold on, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm so, like, OCD that I want it to be straight. That's um, that's my preference, though. I don't, you know, if y'all don't, to teach his own. Okay, so anyways, nevertheless. And then we're gonna tape it at the bottom, okay? So now, that's our first measurement. First measurement from front to nape. So now we're going to do the nape area on a 22 um, inch canvas head, it should be five inches in the back. So I want it to be precise. So we're just gonna do it like this. We're gonna um, cut off the five. Cut it off at the five. And then we're going to um, half of five is two and a half. So we're actually going to mark it at the half line. So about here. And as you can see, it's an even amount on each side of the um, outer lines. So that's how you know. Next we're going to do temple to temple. And I'm actually going to open up another one simply because I want the uh, measurements to be accurate. Um, that's just my preference. So we're gonna open up another one again. Like I said, um, uh, I'll link this below. Uh, all of these did come in the pack together, like so. We're gonna take this off, and I bet y'all like, darn, she been talking the whole video. Okay, sis. Okay, cousin. Okay, so from um, temple to temple, it's going to be 16 inches for a blockhead. So of course, you know, a uh, half of 16 is eight. So we're, excuse my phone, um, half of 16 is eight. So you want to make sure when you're measuring from temple to temple, which is basically ear to ear, you want to make sure that you're coming around on the bigger part of the head because that will be considered the temple part of the head. We're gonna cut it at 16. 
Okay, so once you cut it at 16, now, here's the thing, okay? So you want to make sure that it's in the middle, of course. Make sure that it's in the middle. Make sure that it's going around the fatter part of the head. Um, and then you also want to make sure when you bring it to the front that it looks even, okay? You don't want one side higher than the other side. You don't want one side lower than the other side. You wanna make sure like, like it's kinda hand in hand, okay? Tape this side right where it lay. And then I'm going to get another piece of tape and we're going to tape this side. Right where it lay. And boom. That is our measurement for our blockhead. Now I'm going to, these are my shrink wraps. They came yesterday, I believe. Um, I ordered them off Amazon. I'll place that link below. And this is just, um, to protect your uh, blockhead. So like if you're doing um, coloring or anything like that while it's on here, then you're going to be uh, protecting it, of course. And you know, you can take it off, replace it, you know, do whatever it is you need to do to reserve your uh, blockhead. And I'm gonna sit there right there. I didn't buy a, um, I didn't buy a, a heating gun, but baby, I got a good old blow dryer. And we all, we all are about to see um, how this do, okay? So I'm just plugging it up right now because I don't have it plugged up because my phone was going dead and I needed to charge my phone. So, yeah. So anyways, nevertheless, gonna throw my hair to the back. Um, we're going to open up the shrink wrap paper. This is like a 12 by 24 or something like that.